While our commentary is generally considered family-friendly, this game is rated M by the ESRB. Hello and welcome back to more Stephen Amell Play The Walking Dead. On the last episode, ha! Ha ha ha! Ha! Those tiny inkling suspicions that we had. That we were like, nah, that's probably not right, it's probably something else. Were true. Yeah. They were true. And, and, if you, if you didn't see last episode, don't, just stop watching this video, please. Oh my <laughs> god, you've got to see the previous episode before you watch this one. Oh my god. Alright, so, I don't even know how much time is left in this... Episode? This episode, um, or episode two of The Walking Dead. Um, I know that we're near the end. When we last left off... Lee got some stuff going down. Well, some stuff happened, but Lee got hit in the face with the butt of the gun. Mm -hmm. And he blacked out. And now we are just waking up, and I think Larry was talking. Yeah. It's time to resume the game and see what the heck is going on. You can't keep us in here! <coughs> Open up! I will tear you fuckers you apart with my bare hands! We gotta find another way out of here! <laughs> you shit <laughs> fucking bastards! <laughs> Open this door! God damn it! I will knock the goddamn Dad, door stop. down! It, it was a person. They tried to make us eat a person. But you didn't do it. No. The rest of us did, god damn it! If you hadn't dragged your feet! Come on, Dad. Now's not the time. You okay, Clementine? They, they didn't hurt you, did they? Mm -mm. Open up! Lee, those psychos have my family, and we're stuck in a damn meat locker! We gotta get the fuck out of here! I'm scared. Don't be. It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna find us a way out of here. You're, you're worse than the walkers! Dad, please! Oh my god. Hey, Clem. Please Don't give up. Down. We're gonna find a way out of here. Can I help? Sure. You keep your eyes open for exposed screws or loose panels. Anything we can pry away to open a passage out of here. Okay. Come on. Do I still have my multi-tool? I don't think I'm I have anything sure. right now. My inventory is usually on the left, and there's nothing there. I don't want to know what kind. There's more of us on the way. Let us Chills out are pretty now. sturdy. We can climb up. That's not gonna help. Uh, but there's no way out through the ceiling. They're not gonna open the door. You, you think a fucking a Could there be a hole behind the these pallets? No such luck. Dad, this isn't helping. It got caught you in duck, Lee. Those fuckers have my family. I know. We're gonna get out of here and find them. I'll, I'll break that damn door down. Dad, you can't get. Uh, uh, Easy. Uh, Now they're going to be locked in there with a zombie. No. Dad, come on. Dad! Oh, God. He stopped breathing. I think he's had a heart attack. Shit. Is he dead? He's not dead. Somebody help me. Fuck. If he's dead... He's not dead. What has to happen, Lee? Think about it. You saw that poor bastard at the motel? How fast he turned? What are you saying? Lily, I'm sorry. I truly, truly am. But in a few minutes, we're going to be stuck in a locked room with a six foot four, three hundred pound, seriously pissed off dead guy. Fuck you! We can bring him back! Lee! Good morning later. But right now, we have to keep him from coming back. No! God damn it, Kenny! He's not dead! Lily can still save him. I wish she could, believe me, I do. But that man is dead. You both know what happens next. Look, Kenny, back at the drugstore when we all thought Duck was bitten. I gave him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe we should do the same now. That was different. Duck wasn't bitten. But come on! We know this guy's not gonna make it. Remember what Ben said. Gotta destroy the brain. Come on, Lee. You can't be in the middle on this one. You gotta have my back this time. Man. God damn it, Lee. I need you! Please help me! Come on, Dad. Oh my god. Oh, you got time. Oh. You're timed so hard. Oh my oh, god. Oh, pick left or right. I can't. They're Come on. quick. Time's running out. Lee! Is he breathing at all? No. No, I don't think so. Okay, let me take over. Keep checking his pulse. Are you stupid? He's gonna turn. You're putting all of what? us at risk, you son of a bitch. You're fucking worthless. Three. 
Oh my god. No! <laughs> Kenny, I'm sorry. What the fuck? I'm so sorry. I just... It had to be done. Oh my Don't god. Don't know that! Yes, I do, Lee. And so do you. I was counting on you, man. Oh my god. I'm sorry. I know. Don't you fucking touch me! <laughs> oh my god. This game is insane! Are you okay? Is it over? <sighs> yes, for now. But we still need to find a way out of here. <laughs> I know, I know. But you gotta be strong right now. I need you to be strong. Think about something else, something hopeful. Like what? How about your walkie-talkie? Those pretend talks with your mom and dad, don't those make you feel better? Sometimes. We're gonna get out, right? You found a way out? I'm working on it. Okay, first off, I need I need a second to, to take all this in. Because this was all very <laughs> insane. Like... I, I have said, in past episodes, I've said, you know, Larry, there's a chance to let Larry die, I'll let that happen. In the heat of the moment, I tried to save Larry. Because, in in that specific instance, I mean, Larry is, I'm, I'm not a big fan of Larry, sure. But in that specific instance, there was nothing that told me that he was screwed. There was nothing that told me that he was dead, you know? You're over there speechless. I don't know what to say. Weigh in a little bit here. I'm... I did notice something in the cutscene. What? The sign right over the ear, right there. See his ear? On the wall? What do you left, mean? Left, left, left. Right above Kenny's ear. Well, now it's behind his head. There What's... was a sign and it said something about don't stand under something. I'm curious if that'll help us. Okay. <sighs> My god. This game is nuts. I'm sorry, Lily. I mean, here's the deal, though. Here's the deal. And I don't know where you where where you stand, because me and you are different players, and we're taking turns, which screws up the entire yeah. game. I was I was cool with Kenny. Until, like, the last several episodes, he's been, he's been doing some tinfoil hat nonsense, and he's very rash. Uh-huh. I mean, but he was right. <laughs> was he right? About being paranoid about this place? Uh-huh. Okay, well, yeah, that. I mean, but was he right to smash Larry's head in? I mean, if Larry had a heart attack, what's gonna fix him? I mean, may Lily might have been able to bring him back. CPR doesn't do that. <laughs> CPR just keeps your heart going until someone can get it restarted, like, shocks. I don't know. Maybe I just, I was too hopeful. Maybe I should have sided with Kenny. Maybe Kenny was right. Maybe he was actually dead. I don't... In the heat of the moment, I, I sided with Lily. He was still alive, Lee. He was still alive. Kenny, he made a bad call. It was premature for sure, but he was trying to keep us safe. Bullshit. He cares about keeping his family safe. He doesn't give a shit about you and he me. He puts his family first, sure. Just like Larry did. Jeez, <sighs> man. Please. I need to be alone. God knows you deserve time to grieve, Lily. Oh my god. I know it was necessary, but I just wish Clem didn't have to witness shit like this. I worry what it's gonna do to her. I mean, anyone growing up in this world is screwed. I don't want to hear it, Lee. You think I like doing what I did? I'm the guy who couldn't bear to watch the family dog get put down. But if we want to survive this shit, we gotta have the balls to do the hard thing. Or at least one of us has got to. You talk a big game, but could you do the hard thing if it was Katja or Dust? It's never gonna come to that. Not if I have anything to do with it. For all we know, the St. John's might have- No! They, they need Katja, remember? She's the whole reason they brought us here. And no doubt they're using Duck as a bargaining chip. I hope you're right. I know I'm right. I just gotta get to him. That's all. 
I mean, Kenny's a little pissed at us, but I think we still have peace between everyone right now. What now? What? You don't want to hang me up on a meat hook and leave me to rot? What I want isn't important. What I know is there's safety in numbers. You got any ideas? The air conditioner. Look, if we're gonna survive this shit, we got to work together. How do you expect Lydia to work with us after what she just saw you do? If she wants to live, she'll work with us. If she doesn't, then the hell with her. Oh, man. I think that the thing that makes the game so difficult is that you can see examples of good in both mm -hmm. choices all the time. You know, you can, and that's what makes it so stinking difficult. There ought to be an air duct behind this unit. Maybe big enough for one of us to fit through. Probably going to be Clementine. Does the air conditioner come off? I think I could take it off if I had something to remove the screws. The multi-tool. Gone. Of course they took it. Shit. Maybe there's something else we could use. I've got a rock. Ah, a rock won't help. But a coin might do the trick. Do you have a coin? Uh-uh. Hmm. If we can remove these screws, the AC should come down easily. It's not coming off that way. Larry hmm. has coins. Remember? No, the from The very when? beginning of episode two. I have coins. Oh, I have 60 cents. Yeah. Oh, my God. I'm sorry, Lily. That was just a saying, though. Does that does he actually have 60 cents? I bet he does. Please. I need to be alone. God knows you deserve time to grieve, Lily. But if we're gonna get out of here, we need your help. And Larry's. I think I may have found a way out of here. But I need something to remove the screws on the air conditioner. If you had something I could use as a screwdriver, a coin or something... No. What about him? Look, I know this is a terrible time for it, but uh, back at the motor inn, Larry... Larry mentioned something about keeping coins in his pockets. What do you want? My blessing to loot his corpse? Your permission. <sighs> do what you have to do. Oh my god. We're searching a dead guy. Oh boy. Um, any idea which pocket he keeps his change in? It was 60 cents. Music changed. Oh my god, man. Just gotta remove these screws and get this unit off. I, I'm actually, I'm gonna be honest, I'm really surprised that we're playing here because I thought when we got hit with the butt of the gun, it was over. Yeah. I actually thought that was the end of it. It's a Georgia quarter. Either that's a giant Hurry quarter. Fuck up, Lee. We don't have all day here. Either that's a giant quarter or Lee has really tiny hands. Oh, well, then again, I, my hands are huge, so I guess <laughs> I'm just comparing it to my own hands. I think they just made it big so you could see the Jordan thing. Well, there's our way out, Lee. Hmm. Clementine can fit through. Looks like it'll probably lead right into that back room. You know you don't have to do this, right? I know. I just want to go home. This will help us get back home. <sighs> okay. I mean, one thing I like about Kenny is that he does care about... You're gonna be fine. ...the kids. What do I do when mm -hmm. I get out? See if you can get to the other side of that door and open it. Now, is the game gonna... Uh, we always have perspective on Lee, right? Yeah. I didn't think it was gonna let us briefly play as Clementine or anything. Oh, man. My stomach's in my throat. Yeah. Oh, come on. 
Mm-hmm. Are you okay? Did anyone see you? No, but there's a man outside. What? Where the hell are you going? What do you care? Kenny! Lily, I'm sorry. We gotta go. I know. I just need a minute to say goodbye. Hey, we're good. Okay? Yeah, this is good. Shit, he's gonna get us all killed. Yeah, can Stay Kenny... Stay here. Take care of Lily, okay? Kenny's a bit of a loose cannon. Oh god, now what? Oh, were, were, were we in the barn? In the... yeah. Man... I told you there was something up at this room. It's a goddamn human slaughterhouse. I can't believe that... That's what it actually was. Like, it was kind of like... But, in my opinion, it was almost too on the nose, you know? Take, yeah, take the sickle. There's a hay hook too, but I think the sickle. Man, I'm gonna admit, I'm I'm really looking forward to this episode being over with. <laughs> well, no, I'm look I'm looking forward to killing Danny and Andy. <laughs> oh my god, I I feel kind of bad because I understand kind of what they're talking about. Like they just doing what they need to survive. God, what's wrong with these people? But like. The, even if someone dies naturally, they come back as a zombie. So, killing something to eat it... That's still... Something's... It, but also, Mal, yeah. now we understand that crazy woman, when she was talking about her, she didn't know anything about Clementine. That, she was talking about maybe, like, one of... Someone she knew or something, you know? Mm -hmm. I think that's what it was. I don't she think she... looked an awful lot like Clementine. Ugh, I think I'm gonna be sick. I don't think so, Mal. Clementine's parents, they were gone. That mess, that answering machine message? I mean, yeah, she wouldn't have been in making it a safe way. E exactly, safe box exactly. Or... That that could not... Ooh, cattle prod. Jesus, this is where they butcher people. Sick bastards. All of them. What do you want? What's your weapon of choice? I have, I have a sickle. There's a, a hay thing? Yeah. There's a hay, hay hook. hook and a cattle prod and your sickle. Um, and then the other option is a cattle prod. It's a mini cattle prod. Let me check the look here. I, I'm trying to think of what would be more effective. I'm kind of thinking the cattle prod. Okay. But the sickle, I mean, the sickle is a sickle. You stab somebody. It's a sword. I'm taking a sickle. Screw it. Danny mess. Dan Danny knew, man. Danny knew when he shot that woman. They were suspicious for a reason. What the hell do you think you're doing? Getting my family back. What are you gonna do? Walk up and grab his gun? Good a plan as any. Kenny's gonna get himself shot. <sighs> it ain't right making me stay out here all night. I didn't do nothing. They just treat me like I'm some kind of screw. Instead of going hey, for the gun, I'd rather kill him. Doing outside the barn. Oh shit! Just guarding the place, like you said. Oh great. Sitting out in the rain like a damn deer. Mama says we can't keep that many folks alive and not expect trouble. Pick one to keep and kill the rest. Mm hmm. Pick which one to keep alive. Out the kid. Enough meat on the tray. Oh, I know, man. This is What's my he doing now? part too. When I let one think they can just walk right out, <laughs> they never even look down. He's gone. Hey, keep your eye on him. Yeah. Don't, 
Oh my god. What? Oh my god, I don't know. I don't see him anymore. Where the fuck did he go? I don't know. Look again. He didn't go past us. We'll take him out together. How? He doesn't know we're out. He's gotta walk past us to get to the meat locker. We can take him out when his back is to us. See what he's doing now. No! Now, I'm really sorry to do this to you. That's it for this episode. I honestly, I can't believe that this this has been going this long. Mm-hmm. Next episode's gotta be it. That's gotta be it. And I, I really hope I'm not, like, cutting this episode short when... The next one's shorter, like, super short. Yeah. Yeah. Um. But I, I the thing is, I don't know. Yeah, I that's know. okay. That's gonna be it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Next episode, Mao is in control, and presumably we'll finish it up. You've been making some tough decisions. I've been getting off scot-free. Uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, we'll see you next time for more Stephen Amount Play, The Walking Dead.